My name is Niamh Nicktaid. I am currently um, a professor of forensic science at the University of Dundee in Scotland, and I'm also the director of a research centre called the Levy Hume Research Centre for Forensic Science, which is funded by the Levy Hume Trust. It, it's an interesting story now that I'm at the University of Dundee because I was originally born in Dundee. Both of my parents are scientists. Um, my mother um, is a botanist. My father is a chemist, so he's an organic chemist. And so we always had conversations about science and were encouraged to be interested in, you know, how things worked and the world around us. My dad um, initially, but both parents, became interested and ultimately practitioners in fire scene investigation. What we were being exposed to at home was a real, not just a love of science and a love of that inquisition that science brings, um, but also a real and tangible example of science actually making a difference in people's lives and in solving real world problems. And that has stayed with me um, ever since. It was a challenging time for young people coming out of university uh, in the late 1980s because there were, there were very few jobs. I was aware that RCSI did um, things beyond uh, simply medicine and nursing and, and the sort of aligned professions. That was one of the reasons why I was interested in looking at RCSI. The, the chemistry team there were fantastic. Academics like Geraldine Rafferty was one who I remember um, particularly. And they were incredibly supportive alongside my fellow PhD students. We were a very small group. And so there was a real camaraderie. There's a really interesting connectivity, um, even back into the history of forensic science, between the fact and the fiction, um, uh, and between looking at um, for people who were involved in forensic science back in the Victorian time here in Scotland were also the authors of Sherlock Holmes. So it's it, the connection between, between the crime novel and the reality of the world is never too far away, I think. We're a very unusual research centre. We wrote this research proposal that basically said, we think we have a big crisis in forensic science. We think that we need to go back to the drawing board in uh, a number of areas. We think we need to do fundamental applied research to understand when you have an interaction between two things, how material moves between them, so how things transfer and how long they persist for, because those are fundamentally important in being able to then understand the value and the weight that a piece of evidence might have. And we wanted to have a conversation with the judiciary in particular, um, but with our legal colleagues and our colleagues in law enforcement to bring us all together so that we're no longer working in silos, but we're working together to talk about what are our concerns and worries and um, challenges that we face in the utilization of science within the criminal justice frame to create for the very first time that I'm aware of anywhere in the world, a research center that has public engagement and science communication at its core and where we bring all of the different elements of our ecosystem, of our whole community from the crime scene side to law enforcement to the individual scientists, to the lawyers who defend and prosecute, to the judges who sit um, in the courts and to the public to really talk about the challenges we face and to try to together create solutions to those challenges. So that's in essence what the research centre was, was founded to do. When you work as a forensic scientist, forensis is defined, comes from Latin, and it's defined as honour before the forum. So what you're doing is you're presenting the science bit in front of a forum, a decision-making forum, which is the court. And that requires you to act in a particular way where the rules of how you act are not defined by you or defined by your scientific discipline. They're defined in our case by the legal rules that expert witnesses have to work to. And so marrying those two things together is um, challenging it's something that our students have to be aware of and have to learn how to do. I was really humbled to be notified of getting this award. I mean, it's um, RCSI is my alma mater. It's a, a place that I hold very close to my heart. It's a place that um, uh, really, I suppose, enabled me to become a researcher um, and to, to really get an understanding and a great love of that that voyage of exploration 
and, and I feel very humbled by it.